How to Take Pictures of a Swim Meet, Part 1, At the Meet, Revised, 2023, July. What we will cover in Part 1, At the Meet, Gear and Exposure, Problems, Problems of the Large Number of Events, Who are Your Swimmers, Faces, and the Sun, then Planning Where to Shoot From, and Suggested Shots. In part two, after the meet, edit, organize to edit, and organize for the web. Gear and exposure during the day. Camera, most any camera you have. Lens, 18 to 140 for near pictures with the APS-C camera. 24 to 105 or 120 near pictures with the full frame camera. And 70 to 300 for distant shots. Exposure, mode S, shutter priority, 1 1600 of a second, ISO, auto. At night or indoors, camera with a high max ISO of 25,600. Lens, 70 to 200, 2.8. Exposure, mode M, manual, 1 500 of a second, aperture, wide open, ISO, auto. And a monopod for the heavy lens. Exposure. Because of the reflection of the sun on the water, exposure can be difficult. This is more so when shooting towards the sun. You have to take a test exposure to determine how much exposure compensation you need to apply. And you have to know how to adjust exposure compensation for your camera. Because doing it for your camera may be different than for my camera. Planning. Where to shoot from? Problem, the sun. If you shoot towards the sun, the sunlight will glare off the water. A polarizing filter may or may not help. Do not wear polarizing sunglasses when you're shooting swimming. For the following reasons. You won't see the glare that may be ruining your picture. Because your sunglasses it take is wiping the glare off, but your camera is seeing the glare. The electronic display of the viewfinders of some mirrorless cameras do not work with polarized glasses. And finally, if you are using a polarizing filter, the two polarizing lenses, your sunglasses and the filter, will interact with each other and you won't really know what the heck the filter is doing because your glasses is messing up this image. If you shoot towards the sun, the face of the swimmers will be in shadow as shown in the picture bottom left. So you need to make a test exposure then adjust your exposure compensation till the face lightens up as in the bottom right. Here's the problem with this. You're not shooting only breaststroke. You're shooting a bunch of other types of races, and the lighting will be different. So what you need to do now is remember how much exposure compensation you needed to apply to get to bottom right, and then zero out the exposure compensation for your other shots. And then when you have to you need to have this angle and this shot for breaststroke, dial in that particular exposure compensation, and off you go. The other option is adjust the lighting when you're editing the picture. So when editing, you say, okay, it's dark, lighten the shadow, and you just and to get from left to right. But there is a limit to what you can do in editing. At a certain point, when you start to lighten your dark pictures, the image will start breaking down and the picture will start looking poor. In fact, if you look carefully at the picture on the bottom right, you can see where the image is starting to break down. The sun. The orange arrow in this diagram indicates the direction of the sun. So the sun is coming from the right going to the left. 
I shoot in the green arc to the right of the blue line. So basically the 180 degree arc. I will sometimes shoot in the 45 degrees from the blue to the red line. I will have to accept any problems that, may, that I may get from shooting in that 45 degree arc. I do not shoot in the 90 degree red pie on the left unless I absolutely have no choice. Because that in that situation, when I'm in that red pie, I'm shooting pretty much towards the sun. And I'm going to just have to deal with, going to get a lot of glare. Now, taking what I just said, this is the pool. Now you need to plan where you're going to shoot from. I've indicated in yellow the direction of the sun. So the orange squares are where I will stand. Notice there is no orange square on the right side because on the right side I will be shooting directly into the sun and I want to avoid that. In this diagram, I pretty much stay on that left orange square. Bottom orange square is a, and the top orange square are good for things like butterfly and breaststroke where you can get a head on shot. Problem on the top, you're shooting towards the sun. So you're going to be dealing with sun reflection off the water. Pick square on the bottom. The lane marshals are often in the way. There are a lot of people that are on that end of the pool because they're there in case the electronic touch sensors don't work. So there is somebody on each of the lanes. So that area tends to get crowded. So it's like, okay, you take the, the least problematic of the two locations. So I end up shooting from the top orange square and not shooting from the bar bottom orange square. You have to take the situation of your pool into consideration when you shoot. Tip, at a pool that is next to a two-story building, like in the picture below, have a second photographer shoot pictures from the second floor. The reason why I say a second photographer is you don't have time to shoot, to run up and down the stairs between events. You're going to have to shoot the event and have a second person take care of the high angle shots. Because if you run up, you may lose half the race as you're going up and down. Problems. Problem one, large number of events, races, and swimmers. A swim meet at my school is a combined boys JV and varsity plus girls JV and varsity meet. There are 43 to 46 events in a meet. Now we add to that where you have relays. A relay is multiple races in one event. For instance, you may have four different sw swim types in one relay. So if you have four relays, boys JV and varsity plus girls JV and varsity, that adds 12 more races to the list. So now you're up to 55 to 58 races. Now on top of this, you can have several swimmers from your school in a particular event. If you only have two swimmers in each event, you are now up to 110 to 116 swimmers. Some of the events, you may have more than two. So this thing is going to climb up and you have, you have a lot of swimmers to shoot. Tip, take a picture of the scoreboard after each event. This will act as a separator between the events for your pictures. When you edit, organize the events into groups. More later. Problem two, who are your swimmers? When there are three or more swimmers from your school in the same event, it will be difficult to keep track of and take pictures of all your swimmers. Sometimes you can tell them apart by the color of their swim caps. 
But as in the picture below, not if you cannot see the caps. And this picture shows you can't see the caps. Next, even if you can see the caps, the caps may be the same color. These two swimmers, white cap, the only difference is the lettering on the side of the cap. Now in a butterfly, you can see that lettering on the side. But if this is freestyle, good luck in seeing those letters. Problem three, faces. For some types of races and swimmers, it can be very difficult to see the swimmer's face as they swim. The problem I've had is freestyle. The swimmer will face one way going in one direction, then face the other way in the other direction. So you get a face shot on only one length of the pool. Next, the bow wave created by their head can make it difficult or impossible to see the face. As shown in this picture, the top two pictures, face is completely hidden. Bottom two pictures, you see the bow wave in front of the head? It hides most of the head, most of the face. Breaststroke and butterfly have a different issue. The swimmer may face down rather than forward when they breathe, and the swimmer may take a short breath, so you have very little time to see to get their face. These two pictures, picture left, you see how the girl, she is not coming, she's coming out of the water a shorter distance than the guy on the right. She also has her head bent forward. So you have less of a shot of her face than the guy. Suggested shots and samples. The start. Anytime you can get a shot of the face. Head on for butterfly and breaststroke. Head away for backstroke. And the scoreboard after every event. The start. If you shoot from the side, you can get these shots. The backstroke, you see the starting blocks. If you shoot from behind the starting blocks, you can get them taking off from the backstroke. But when you shoot from back there, you may only be able to get one, one swimmer because the starting blocks are going to get in your way. Faces. These are the sw swimming events where I can see faces. Backstroke, when they're swimming away from you. If they're swimming before, if they're swimming towards you, you can't see the face because they're looking in the opposite direction. Breaststroke. Butterfly. Remember what I told you about getting the faces? Compare the face of the top picture versus the bottom picture. That guy's face is very close to the water and it's angled down. And he's creating a lot of disturbance in the water around his face. So his face is difficult to see. So just because it's a butterfly doesn't mean you're going to get a good shot of the face. If he, bend, if he keeps his face down, you're just going to get his forehead. Tips. Breaststroke and butterfly. Head on shot to get the face. Try to shoot from a low angle, kneeling, so that you can get their face rather than the top of their head. Try to shoot them on the far side of the pool as they get, because as they get closer, you end up shooting down on them. For a backstroke, shoot them as they're heading away to get the face. And to get a clear face shot, shoot them as they swim away from you on the near side of the pool. So on the breaststroke and butterfly, you're shooting on the far half. And backstroke, you're shooting on the near half. Tips. A polarizing filter is not a magic tool to eliminate the glare from the sun. It may or may not work. You have to test it at the specific pool and at the specific time of day because the sun direction and elevation is critical. It may work at a certain time of day, and it may not work at another time of day. Therefore, you must test. The end. Please continue to part two 
and please like and subscribe.